I'm gonna be honest, I hate drawing on paper because first off, I suck at it and also drawing in real life does not have a liquify tool. But for this video, I'm gonna show you how I went from drawing your crusty grandma's pits to drawing something juicy and smezzy. And after learning those tips and tricks, I'm gonna redraw it on my iPad to see which is easier and better. Okay, so now let's begin. Now first, I want you to ditch your broke boy pencil and just use a mechanical pencil to sketch. Bam! Look at how beautiful this is. I stabbed my classmate with this back in fourth grade. The thing about mechanical pencils is that you don't have to sharpen it and it will always stay very sharp, perfect for your classmate's skin. And it has an eraser at the top. Anyway, so using this, let's draw Ga Eun here. I hope you guys don't have a hand fetish because my hand is looking crusty ah. But anyway, let's begin with the sketch. I'm using a very light hand to do the sketch because we don't want too many erasures. Remember, we can't undo in real life. Anyway, now let's draw the lips, nose, and eyes. As you can see, he looks like an old Asian man who got stung by a bee. Don't worry, this is just a placeholder to get the proportions right. Now I'm using the parallelogram method to draw the eyes. The trick to making them symmetrical is to draw them both at the same time. Okay, that looks about right. Let's just draw the hair real quick. Again, big basic shapes first. I'm also adding some details in the hair, but honestly, this isn't gonna matter. I'll explain this later. Anyway, so now let's remove the guidelines. Now, this time, using the same pencil, let's draw a darker outline of the eyes and then the other side and the not so juicy lips yet. Now, this is the important part, okay? Use this. Now, I don't really care how expensive your pencil is. It's gonna be no match for this Micron pen. They named this pen after your dad's PP. So basically, this is a really thin pen that a lot of pros use. It's very good for line art and for shading. And now, let us line the juicy lips and then the eyes real quick. And yeah, the rest of the face. So now we have this glorious face. What I'm gonna do next is erase the pupil. Oh, damn. Now, I'm gonna use this crusty dark pencil to just doodle a little bit on the lip. Now, you might be thinking, dang, he needs some lip balm. Well, this is where the tortillion comes to play. Think of it like the IRL airbrush. Now, we're just gonna blend in circular motions and it smudges everything. And shazam! Juicy lips Who? Now, you can also do this to the eyes if you want that blurred alcoholic effect. So just use this pencil again and then blur the edges using the tortillion. Then we can like add some emo eyeliner and blush on him. Bro got emo-fied in less than one minute. Now, this looks really easy to do, right? But why is it that whenever you try to draw on your your own, it ends up looking like this. Homie, it just means you need to learn the fundamentals first. I taught myself how to draw by watching tutorials. But Colleen, where do I find tutorials? Well, on Skillshare, of course. Our sponsor for today is the largest online learning community for creatives by creatives. The teachers here are absolute pros. They even got Jaza or even freaking Alex Myers, man. This short course by Mimi Chow, for example, is for people who want to draw but don't know how to start. She teaches the absolute basics that that you need to know along with a workbook. My first thought to watching her course was, wow, holy crap, I did not know that. But who says you only want to draw? There are more courses like graphic design, character creation, 3D art, or even non-art related stuff like e-commerce. They've got everything. 2024 is coming along, so it's time to learn a new skill. So the first 500 people to click my link below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So click my link below. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's proceed. Now, you might be wondering what that pencil was. So this is another tip. Stop using your stupid pencils to shade. It's gonna end up looking like this. Look at how crusty this is. Crustier than my lips after making out with my vacuum cleaner. So this is the reason why. The regular pencils are made of graphite, but this is charcoal. Charcoal is a lot less reflective, okay? So no matter how dark your graphite pencil is, it's never gonna beat charcoal, okay? They're like Asian kids. They're always gonna be better than you, no matter how hard you try. Now, if you don't believe me, let's shade a hair real quick, okay? Prepare for some hashtag ASMR moments. Oh, dang, look at my hand, guys. So yeah, anyway, I spent like three minutes completely violating my paper using the charcoal pencil. It was actually super satisfying, just really messy, okay? Like, bro, look at my freaking desk over here. That's messy out. Anyway, I'm actually simplifying the hair so much because I feel like when it comes to drawing on paper, less is more. It's just more aesthetic this way. See that? I rate charcoal pencils a smegzy 11 out of 10. Okay, one downside though. Charcoal pencils?
Bristles are literally a pain in the butt to sharpen. It's literally always gonna break no matter what. So instead, just use a cutter or like your eyebrow razor or something to carefully circumcise the charcoal pencil. Make sure it's safe though. Anyway, and now I'm just gonna line the rest of the clothes. Then let's just shade it real quick. Now for the juicy highlights, <laughs> you didn't think this would be a cooling artwork without some juicy highlights, did you? I'm gonna use this white gel pen and basically add a dot on each eye like so. Very juicy. And don't forget the juicy lips. Smexy. To make the hair more detailed and sharp, I used the micron pen to make them pointy. So this is the final result on paper. Wasn't as hard as I thought. The whole process was probably 6 out of 10. Now let's try to recreate this on my iPad to see which version is better. Okay, so right now I'm using this free side brush. It's very ooh la la. I will use it all throughout. So anyway, as I'm sketching right off the bat, there is already a huge difference. I'm not drawing as many guidelines as before because it doesn't matter if I screw up or not. I can always just undo. And also this. Oh yes. Copy and paste, baby. Paper zero. iPad one. Another thing I love about drawing on the iPad is that you can basically lasso tool everything to hell and back. So anyway, let's just draw the rest of the details. And another thing. I always put the hair on another layer in case I screw up so I can always just restart. And also, I just really like seeing them ball. Okay, this is our doodle. Now let's color real quick. Another thing I love is the airbrush tool. Oh yes. I am happily married with the airbrush tool. Did you guys know that? Paper zero. iPad two. Besides the airbrush tool, there is also the lasso fill tool, which is very handy for coloring as you can see by the way I color the hair. And then we can add a shadow just like that. Very lazy. How cool is that, bro? And in case I don't like the way the bangs are bangsing, I could always just warp the hair using the transform tool. Oh yes. Okay, so let me just fill in the rest of the details. Right, he's looking real smuggy. So we're done. Now let's compare the two. Which one do you like? So my brother told me that the iPad version looks like crap and the paper version is better. And honestly, guys, here are my final thoughts. Listen, I'm always gonna go for digital art because I like to work smart, not hard. And there are so many tools that make efficient AF. Unlike drawing on paper where you don't have any undo. But you know what? That is exactly the charm of drawing on paper. All of your mistakes become part of the artwork. Ooh poetic. So if you ask me, it's way easier to make a paper drawing look good compared to an iPad drawing because you have way less tools to worry about. Like you literally only need a pencil and now you can draw. But as for digital art, there are so many tools to be familiar with. And don't even get me started on Procreate's shortcut tools, bro. In the end, drawing on paper is the safest option because the rules are like really simple and basic. It holds you back, but at the same time keeps you grounded. However, you have a lot more potential with digital art. And that is why drawing on my ipad is on top so anyway what do you guys prefer thanks for making it till the end watch this next and i'll see you there stay cool